Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, this feels so good. Welcome to our live. Yes, we are here for this Tuesday. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend away and had some fun. And um, hopefully you did something fun on the holiday. Let me get my stuff organized so I can see everybody. So I am Heather. We do come to you live every day, um, about Monday through Thursday, except on holidays. Um, and so we uh, like to see you guys and and we <clears throat> talk luminous. So we talk about color cosmetics, skin care. We even, of course, talk about airbrush, which we are known for. And so we always like to go over the basics, go over um, anything and everything that questions you may have that this is a great time to ask those questions hello martin hello veronica good to see you guys so let's go over the basics we always cover that and the basics meaning your starter kit this is one of our starter kits and this is the icon we also have the icon pro and the legend and then of course we now have the breeze which is our cordless chargeable um, airbrush system that I will be using today. And it all comes with makeup. Now, depending on when you order it, you might get it on a really good sale where you get some extra goodies, but it all, um, they all come with two bottles of foundation, love and blush. And the love is something you might not use every single day, but it's going to give your skin some luminosity. And then the blush is super high pigmented it is going to bloom and so you only need about two drops and that's it that's all you want to use on the blush now when you first get started we want you to do the following things right here keep that stylus moving bump bump bump, bump. and you can practice with just the air and so feeling that air and feeling that the makeup or the, the wherever the air is is where the makeup's going to go and so keep that moving, keeping it four finger widths away from your face, never in one spot twice, and then put water in your foundation well, and then airbrush water on your face by lightly pulling back on this trigger. So you want very little makeup to come out. This goes against everything we know up until this point. And so we do want it very little to come out. All right. I did have a great weekend, Jeannie. I hope you had a good weekend too. Hello, Cindy. Thank you. It's getting longer. I don't know what, I still don't know what to do with it. Who knows? All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with, I feel like I need, um, I did not wear one drop of makeup yesterday because I, on this Labor Day, I was laboring. Um, I cleaned out the garage. I cleaned my daughter's playroom that I haven't been in there in months because you couldn't even walk in. Um, it was, I kept the doors closed and I was like, I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to see it. And so that's what I ended up doing. Um, and so I'm like sore, uh, because yeah. Oh, power wash, a power wash, finished power wash in my driveway. So yeah, I was laboring this, um, this labor day weekend, but it's, I, it's kind of good. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, okay. I got some stuff done, even though it might've been tiring. Uh, you got stuff done. So it was a good thing. Hello, Pam. Good to see you. Oh, yay. Lynn found her perfect match. Rose uh, five. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to start with glow and we are going to do um, some contouring today. And I was going to do contouring with um, the cut one palette, but I've kind of changed my mind to do it with the bronzer because that shows the contouring a little bit more. And so I want y'all to be able to see it, right? Let's see. Let me prime this up real quick. I'm running out of all my stuff. I'm out of um, wipes and all the goodness. All right, let's see. Let's turn this on, prime that a little bit. When I haven't used it in a while, I kind of like to go in and 
prime the um the um the machine or the airbrush before i get started um no rhyme or reason i just like doing it so <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to go in with glow and I'm going to put this on my lids. I'm going to put it um, underneath my eyes and you don't have to be really exact because it is, you know, it's, it's going on and, um, and it, this blends everything for you. So you're able to do all of that. Um, you know, with, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. You know, with um, regular or I'm going to clean this out real quick, um, regular traditional makeup, you see that demarcation line in, in whatever you use, like um, like a traditional found, uh, concealer, foundation. And with airbrush makeup, it blends everything for you as you're putting it on. Um, oh, how do I prime it, Veronica? I'm actually just putting um, this rose water in it, but you can do water, just regular water. I just like to, um, I did not clean this before I left, so don't do the same as I do. Um, and so I'm just going in here to make sure I get this all cleaned out so it works properly. Um, guys, you do have to make sure to clean your machines. Um, you know, sometimes I get in a hurry when, you know, doing work after after my live and then um, you forget to clean it, but you have to clean it. If you don't, you're going to regret it because of the fact that, um, if your airbrush does not work properly, you can't airbrush. And so make sure just run water through this, run, run it till it runs clean. If it starts, um, clogging or bubbling, you know, whatever the case may be, get a coffee cup, cup full of warm water and just boop, pop that not maybe not full but halfway pop that in where at least that's covered and that will help um with the cleaning of your stylus but you do want to make sure that you do run water in it every time you use it it's the easiest thing it's so easy to clean it's not like it's any big deal but you make sure that you um that you're cleaning it okay all right, so now I'm going to go in, put some some goodness around here. See, I need it. I need it. Hold on, guys. One second. One second. And then also always get a new. Um, also always get a new stylus, or we can get the top part of the breeze um when um they go on sale that way you do have a backup switching to my icon right now really lynn that is interesting um that is really interesting i like that so veronica as far as priming goes do it with water, do it. You can do it with tip top cleaner. Um, but because I'm priming it, I kind of like to do it with just water. Um, and it's kind of like getting, getting the, getting it moving, getting it moving. Um, and then Lynn says that she used the Equate lens cleanser cleaner. Um, and it fixed her problem. That is super. In I think I'm gonna have to go get some of that to see how that works. That's, Pretty good idea. Hmm, Lynn, I might have to um, look into that. I like it. Um, Martin loves the icon. Yeah, the icon is great. Um, you know, it's good to have backup, but guys, I'm telling you right now, make sure to clean it. Then you won't have the problems that, that we're having right now. All right. Now I'm going in with my matte bronzer. Going in. Um, so it doesn't spill out. Oh yeah, Cindy, the cap is awesome, so it doesn't spill out. That's why I was like, did this come up like? Um, that's why we give that to you um, when you're first starting out. It's super important um, because you might be a little unsteady with the application. 
And so being able to have that cap on it makes a big difference. Now I have the matte bronzer in there right now, and I'm going to do some contouring. So I'm going back and forth. I know where it's going because I can feel the air and a little bit of coolness, but I am barely pulling back on this trigger guys, barely. Now with the um, contouring, you can kind of see it starting to come up. I go from the middle of the ear towards the corner of my mouth, but I stop where the color of my eye is. So if you make a fish face, it's right in there. Morning, Patty. I love that. Len says that, yeah, you don't want it to clog up because that's horrible. You don't want, because nothing is going, it, it, I guarantee it's going to happen on a day like you're in a hurry and you're like, oh, I got to get, got to go, got to go. And then it, your thing clogs up and you're like, oh. Oh, yeah, definitely the chin. And I like going back and forth right on my chin line and then bringing it down. Now, I know a lot of you are like, nope, can't contour, not going to do it. Remember with foundation, it evens you out. So it makes you what we call flat. And so what contour does, it brings life back into your face and shape back into your face. So you can kind of change some things around, but this way I'm doing it so it. I'm doing it first because then I'm going to put on my foundation and I do like to do a little bit, even though I have some bangs and I don't have a huge forehead, I still like to do a little bit right at my temples. Um, again, to give my face a little bit more shape. You can even contour around the nose. I, Lynn, thank you for that. Uh, and did I say hi to Luminous? I don't know if I did. So hi, Luminous. Sorry about that. Um, Martin uses warm water. And yeah, I always say wait till, wait till the stylus or the top part of the breeze goes on sale and then get a new one. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, or it's the best way to have one. So you, if you are clogging, you can figure it out later, let it soak, let it do whatever, but then still go ahead and do your makeup. I did put two drops of the soft rose blush that right here and moving it back, I'm going to put that and I'm still doing all this before my foundation. So just right on top. Now with the blush, the blush is going to bloom two drops. That's all you need. And it's going and it'll come out. It's going to bloom. So you get it right to where you love it and then you stop. Now it is going to um, be blended a little bit more. Once I put my foundation on, it will blend like right now. It looks a little harsh but that's because I don't have my foundation on and it's going to blend everything together. Contouring is important. All right, now I'm going to my shade three in the rose foundation. Awesome, Cindy. Cindy's been practicing her contouring before she washes her face for the evening. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, shaking my shade five. I need to clean some of these tops too. And then now turning on my system. And then I like to start in one area. Oh, I'm using the rose foundation. I love that smell. Going back and forth. And that is one pass. Now, what you'll see are things starting to blend, starting to soften. 
Now, if you have wrinkles and crinkles that you are trying to hide, don't make as many passes. We don't want the makeup to pile up there. And so you kind of want to hit it and quit it and just go in, make those passes and then leave it alone for a second. And then you can go in and make some more. Blend it down my neck. Remember, your stylist blends everything for you, right? I'm like, did I just get it everywhere? Felt like I. All right. Perfect. And I thought I had some cleaner that I was going to clean this with. Oh, there it is. And so I am going to clean this. I just had a little bit left of my uh, rose foundation. Whoops. And I'm going to take, um, clean it out because I'm going to use a luminizer. We know that the luminizer pigment is a little bit heavier. So I want to make sure that I don't have anything left in there. But as I'm, I'm going to let that sit for a second, clean that out. And then I'm going to do my eyes. There we go. Put that right there. And I'm going to do my eyes and then we'll finish up with the luminizer. But see how this is all blended, like it all starts making sense now. And so I will go in with my nude and naughty palette. And with, I'm just going to use one color. Let's do this color right here. And right here, right on my crease, I'm going to start blending that. Now, when I'm blending, I really don't even, not, I mean, not really, I don't pick up my brush. I'm doing like windshield wiper moves, almost like a V or a check, and I'm just blending. It's thick enough. Oh, Lynn, that you might need to call baby and um and have them send you a new one. You use the airbrush one. So I would definitely call and probably um, get them to do and give you a new one. But what you'll want is all of our products have a lot number on the bottom. And so if make sure um, send in that. You can email them. Um, see how just one color makes such a difference. Like even just one color, bam. And then I can go in, do a little bit of this one. And just right at my lid, put a little bit of oomph. Oh yeah, that blending brush. I have like several of those. Those are amazing. So I just put a little bit of a shimmer there just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I'm like, where? Where, where am I? Who am I? I'm going to go back in here and shake up my, I'm using the pearl. I'm loving the pearl luminizer. It is my favorite. And I like doing it afterwards because it is very light, um, but it gives, it's a little bit stronger than love. It has that iridescent feel. Um, and it, it's that pearlized look. Whoop, just dropped the lid there. Okay. And then now I'm going to do that. Whoop. Ah, Cindy says she went a little crazy with the optics palette. All of the shimmer, but not overdone since I've learned how to blend it correctly. I love it.
And I just kind of like doing the pearl kind of a little bit of everywhere. I think I can go with a like kind of a wider, like going a little bit wider with it because of the, it's just pearl. It's not, it has a shimmer, but it's not as in your face shimmer. <laughs> but look at that. I love that pearl look. And then you'll definitely want to clean it after that because the shimmer does have um, a little bit more of a, a heavier pigment. Um, so you'll definitely want to um, clean that out. So now I'm going in with my Dusty Rose. I love it. And blending that right there covering all of the lip right there and then i'm going to finish with curling my lashes and putting on my mascara lynn no that is our um our lip liner our lip liners are super creamy they're not pens. I mean, they're, it's a pencil, but not a real pencil. It's one of those that you can dial up. And it really, I use them for lips all the time um, because it does have the stain power, but they're amazing. Hey, Muzi, how are you? And then now I'm going to put mascara on one side. So you can see what a difference it makes. I mean, look at that. Mascara makes such a difference. Such a difference. So even just a little bit. Ah, Cindy uses the lip jelly morning and before she goes to bed. Thank you, Muzi. And there you go. Done and done her. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday day. It's a Tuesday, but it might feel like a Monday. But so glad that we're back in the swing of things. So good to see you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.